did a bad thing. I regret the thing that I did. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm full of regrets, but I'm full of joy. Cause guess what? I'm a makeup hoarder. And you can see the title of this video. I'm weak. I'm weak. I did a colour pop haul, okay? I am weaker than weak. I'm shamed. I'm shamed? I'm full of shame. Um, kind of dislike myself for caving in. I've been having a really rough, rough couple of weeks at work. And um, you all know me. I express my feelings through shopping. It's a terrible trait. I have to stop, but there's no stopping me. I am just unstoppable. I am inevitable. <laughs> I did a massive order from Colourpop. They had some sort of free shipping thing going on. And then I was like, nah, I'm all right. And then they had like 20% off. And I was like, nah, I'm all right. And then they had another discount on, I don't even know. I'm, I'm just, I was having a rough time. I was in bed at one o'clock in the morning. Jake was snoring to the left of me, not snoring badly, but he was just a little snoring. And I was on my phone and I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't care anymore. I don't care. I feel like I was pushed into this order because I keep seeing Colourpop like not restocking some things that I really want. Like things on my wish list, I've noticed, like my Colourpop wish list, I've noticed that they're not coming back into stock and I feel like that's a current theme. Um, and I kind of want to own the things before they discontinue them. So I was weak. And now I've got a big old box of Colourpop stuff. So, oh, that really hurt. Uh, so yeah, I was weak. And if you're new here by any chance, hello, welcome, my name is Meg, and I like to talk about all the superficial things around here, all the things that don't really matter in the world, they don't really matter, but they bring us a little bit of joy in the very hard, gruelling life, no, very hard, gruelling, very hard, gruelling time that life can be. I don't know, it's just life can be a little bit hard sometimes, and just talking about pretty things, and talking about things that don't really matter, can just take you away from the things that do matter, and just, just give you a bit of an escape. And I know, like God knows, I need an escape every now and again. Like, listen to me, I'm stressed, and I needed some Colourpop makeup. I didn't, I'm angry with myself, but I'm kind of excited. You know me, there's just, I'm a Gemini. I have, I, there, there's, there's two sides to every story for me, you know? Um, yeah, but yeah, if you're new here, welcome, hit subscribe, join my little family, join my circle of trust, come talk to me about all the things that don't really matter, and bring you joy, I love it, I love it, let's, uh, let's get into the Colourpop haul, because I got a lot, girl, I got a lot, I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even opened this, look at it, wait, has that got my address on it, hang on, bear with, it's all still packaged up, why is there so much bubble wrap, by the way, because I'm a hoarder, all of these, pouches I keep don't ask me why but one day they'll come in handy and they have come in handy sometimes when I like sell things on eBay like random things or like Jake wants to sell things they come in handy so yes I keep all of it like the hoarder I am but I'm also it, it stems from me being slightly tree huggery like I, I don't tree huggery sure I, I don't want uh I don't want to like throw it away I want to give it another use I want to give it like extend its life a little bit more N nothing ends with me you know Nothing ends its life with me. It lives on and it finds another purpose. Anyway, I'm rattling on. It's because I've had like three hours sleep every day for the past two weeks and I feel great. I feel great. I think I'm gonna do this by collection just because that makes sense to me. Yeah, I'm gonna do this by collection. I feel like that makes sense. Okay, so the Tinkerbell collection came out um, and I saw that a few things were like out of stock and not restocking and this happened to the Lush Life collection and it happened to um, the Raw Beauty Christie collab, I know that was a collab so it's a little bit different but they were like cream gel liners that weren't restocked and I was thinking to myself, this is like, I'm not gonna lie, I did this whole order because I was scared that Lush Life palette was gonna go and I'm like I can't live my life like this. I need it. I need it. If you don't follow my monthly wish list, you should. I'll link the playlist up in the eye, up in the card. You can go watch my monthly wish list. And I essentially am only supposed to be buying things in June and November. I caved. I'm weak. I hate myself for breaking that code. Ugh. Things happen, okay? It happens. But I was doing so well and I'd only bought stuff in June. I've broken this once, okay? I am kind of allowing myself, like every month if there was a limited edition collection that I really 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 wanted. The Aniela Canique Fist collection was one, the Colourpop Animal Crossing collection was another one. Like if there was something I really wanted and I thought it was limited edition I was allowing it myself. Um, but like I explain all of that in my monthly wish list but go watch it because a lot of these things actually do come from my wish list. It wasn't too impulsive. 
like actually none of these purchases apart from like one or two things were that impulsive so like you know give me some credit give me give me credit where credit's due you know maybe please i bought the tinkerbell collection but i didn't go crazy i didn't want all of it i didn't need all of it i just wanted the palette and one super shock shadow now tinkerbell's a little bit of a spoilt brat isn't she i just her attitude towards life oh it's glittery oh very nice she's just a little bit of a spoilt brat isn't she tinkerbell but you know gotta love her and all she's the only female in neverland before mary 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 no mary jane mary or jane who knows um but, you know like before her before she comes along she was the only girl running in neverland nether netherland neverland i don't know i'm on i'm on something um so you know I kind of understand why she was grumpy. It was her domain and this girl's coming in, she's stealing her man, she's like, wow! So I kind of get it. Um, but this is the Sprinkle A Little Magic Tinkerbell palette. Can I just point something out? This is so heavy and weighty. This feels luxe. This feels nice. I wasn't expecting this at all. It does not feel lightweight. It feels really good. So, oh and the pans are bigger. And you got a mirror in here. <gasps> was I not awake when I was looking at this palette? I mean, I wasn't because it was one o'clock in the morning when I ordered this. But look at the size of the pans. I don't have a Colourpop palette on hand to show you. I might have one later. But these are the pans. And I feel like this palette is just really, really cute. I probably won't do a video on this because so many people have already done one. And by the time I upload this, it's like, what, three weeks since this came out? Four weeks? I'm not even too sure. I'm probably uploading this video like a week after I film it, if I'm honest, just because I can get it out then. Um, but there's some really lovely greens. This to me is like an everyday green palette. I would wear these to work. I'd wear these out. This is just a really nice palette. I love the mirror. It's very nice. It feels very luxe. A magnetic closing. It's just like a really well-made palette, actually. I've got to say, I can see the quality here. I don't mind paying a little bit more when I can see quality. It's got five metallics through the middle, so here and here, and then you've got the four mattes around the corners. I quite like the shade of the mattes. You've got like two nice greens and two browns, so or like beigey browns. So I feel like you could definitely get like an easy gold tinted green vibe, or you can go for a really foresty green. So I really like this palette. I think it's nice, and you know me, I love a green. So Tinkerbell or not, I was going to pick it up, to be honest with you. I love a green. I also picked up the Super Shock Shadow. Are those lights blinking? Oh my god, this whole time those lights have been blinking. No one told me. Okay, are you done now? Yeah, I picked up the Super Shock Shadow in straight on till morning. It looks like this. It's the green one. Funny that, isn't it? It's because I'm obsessed with greens. <gasps> the packaging is so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, no regrets over this one. Sorry that my nails aren't painted. I haven't had time, okay? I've been getting three hours sleep. Do you think I have time to paint my nails? I absolutely do not, okay? Camera, back here. So this is so pretty. Look at that. It's like a see-through, glittery, very 90s vibe packaging, actually. But see-through green packaging and then the sort of matte green on the bottom. That's really special. And then there's Tinkerbell there, look. That's really special. Let me have a look at this. Ooh. This is like a really nice shade. I think I might swatch this one because, you know, it's Super Shock Shadow. And I want to swatch it. Oh, it's so nice. I love... <sighs> oh, honey. So that was a single swatch. Look at how glittery... Not glittery, but like reflective and foiled that is. That is such a beautiful green. Oh, yes. Yes. We love it. It's like practically neon, but not quite. It's got like golden glitters in it. Oh, mummy, I love it, I love it, I love it. You know when you're just running on empty to the point where you feel a little bit crazy? That's me. So yeah, that was that collection. I really like that Super Shock Shadow. Um, okay, can we just get this out of the way because I truly hate myself for ordering this. Why did I order this? It's because it was half off. It's half off because no one wants it. This is the Cabana Club palette. The packaging for this is very, very pretty. And I think that's why I picked up. The colour story is like nice. It's like a nice colour story. I feel like I definitely use it. Is it something that I'm going to be picking up on a daily basis? Probably not. It's got no mirror, but that's fine. I don't need a mirror in every single palette. But this is my big butt. My big, big juicy butt. It's got some colourful mattes in. In fact, it's got quite a few colourful mattes in, and they're quite rich and dark. Um, obviously, you've got these really deep, lovely blue and purples and these lighter pops. I feel like this would be really great for creating my own palette now. Side note, I only just found out maybe like two, three weeks ago that you can pop out all of these eyeshadows because all of Colourpop's palettes are magnetic. So you should, in theory, be able to watch me try and pop one out and actually break my palette. Are you ready? <laughs> Let me try it on a 
colour I don't care about. I want to try this brown because I've got so many browns. If it breaks, then I don't really care, man. <gasps> yes, it is magnetic. Oh my god, this is changing my life, okay? So this is a magnetic. So if I'm very, very careful, I can pick out the best shades and kind of use it as... I mean, I've kind of damaged the packaging a little bit. Only a little bit, though. You can see where I just stuck in my little tool just there just to get it out but like look at the rich tones of this like you've got these really deep mattes and these really fun pops of metallics i feel like as a palette it's probably not gonna be one of my favorites but i think this is like a nice bank of colors to reach into you know there was something about it this shade here i actually really want to swatch this it's called cool off Ooh, like that was one single swatch that's in, it's like insane. I love Colourpop's formula. Um, like I really truly do. I wore Colourpop formula on my graduation day. I trust the formula. It works for me. I, I just really, really vibe with Colourpop's formula. So for me, this is like worth it as a bank of colours. Not necessarily a cohesive palette as it is. I could definitely use it as it is. But I'm getting this more of like to reach into for some of these shades. Like that blue. It's insane. I like it. Do you know what? Maybe I don't regret it as much as I thought I did. Maybe I'm doing okay. Maybe subconscious me knew I needed it. Maybe. Maybe. Let's talk about this baby because let's be honest, it's like the one I was the most excited about. This is the Lush Life palette. Does this just not give you like George of the Jungle vibes mixed with like a margarita in your hand sitting in like a Coco Cabana bamboo shed i feel like and i've discussed this before about inspiring makeup i'll link my video up in the eye it's quite a recent one in terms of like different content for me and i really want to lean into that like a more chitty chatty style um but this to me is like really inspired and it might not be for you you might find the likes of the cabana club inspired i don't i think it's nice i think it's a cute idea it's kind of like whatever but this i found very inspired and i think it's because i'm just very drawn into the packaging but the color story was also really reflective of the packaging and it like makes sense you know it almost tells a bit of a story about i want to sound crazy but it tells a bit of a story it's like jungle blue the toucans like bill i don't know like i really just like this i think it's kind of cool and the packaging like the gold makes a difference as well i'm just really excited to get into this palette i think it's just really really cute um i mean those greens they're kind of turning me on all right i'm just gonna say how it is i really want to go into it monsoon it's blue i mean the problem is with ColourPop is they do kind of regurgitate the same colors in a different format every single time should i go here this is probably a mistake oh my god that's one swatch let me just go over it a little bit because it's a matte look at that like it's quite consistent you know like that's just one little tiny swatch and i just blend it up and down a little bit it's it's not an expensive palette so i think i needed it and again it comes back to this thing oh my god that stained my hand love that for me for me i think it comes back to this thing of like because i know i can pop them out now all of these shades i feel like are like i view my color pop products as singles now in a palette and I feel like before I was viewing my palettes as palettes because I thought that I couldn't do anything and I didn't want to I don't want to start popping products out that I can't put back in I don't want to mess around with glue I want to leave a palette a palette if I can't put it back where it's supposed to be it's not moving I don't like destroying my palettes it makes me really sad when I see people destroy their palettes it's up to them but it makes me sad when I see people destroy their palettes to make them singles and I'm kind of like oh, yeah okay fair enough but now I know I can depot these I think I might like start doing a little bit of a series I'm not sure please tell me what you think where I'm like looking overhead and this is very inspired by Hannah Louise Poston so I will totally link her down below I think um if I can I'll link her channel down below she does a lot of like overhead um like videos of like her hands and like swatching stuff she is like completely different has a completely different attitude to me in terms of makeup she's very minimalistic she is inspired by her own things and like dupes out new palettes with her collection i'm not so much like that but i do want to start creating my own palettes and using my collection in a different way and i feel like if i'm not dipping into palettes then i want to start creating my own i want to be inspired by something and be like i kind of want that on my eyes like a book cover i want a book cover like on my eyes if it inspires me so i want to like 
lean into that a little bit. Um, so now that I know that I can depot them and make my own palettes, I'm kind of viewing Colourpop Press Shadows as like a collective of singles, you know? So I'm very excited that I own this now, that blue. <gasps> Hello, mama. <laughs> okay. I bought some of the, well, yeah, I bought practically nearly all of the Barbie collection. So I bought the palette. This is kind of one of those things where I was like, if it's in stock the next time I order, I've already, she knows. I kind of like, if it's in stock the next time I order off of Colourpop, I'll buy it. But I wasn't like gonna make an order especially, you know? It was one of those things that I was happy to add it to cart. I like Barbie, I've always liked Barbie. I think she's cute. I just don't like how she's used as a cash cow. It bothers me intensely. Like, since when was Barbie a whore, you know? <laughs> the Malibu Barbie, I feel like is very, it's very Barbie. It's very Barbie. It's not, it's like not childish, but it's like how Barbie is drawn as a cartoon. Like it just feels very, well, it feels very Barbie, I suppose. I feel like they did it very well. I feel like they executed it nicely. It's like grown up, you know? I don't feel like I'm holding Claire's makeup. I don't feel like I'm holding something tacky. I feel like it's just a collaboration palette and I really like it. I think the packaging's nice, you know, everything about it is just really nice and simple. And on the back, it's like just girly and cute with just these nice like pink swirls and you know, this cute sunset. And then inside you obviously have the mirror here, which I'll try to not blind you with. But here are the shades, you've probably seen it before, uh, if my camera's gonna focus, you've probably seen it before, but I just really like the shadows in here. Like I really like the oranges and the pinks, the pop of blues. I feel like it's a really nice palette. I really wanted the lipsticks though, because I loved the packaging of these. Um, I like Colourpop lip liners as well. I think Colourpop lip liners are really nice. So I've got all three. Um, I've got the Malibu Sunset Duo, the Dream House Duo, and the Golden Beach Duo. The packaging for these are really sweet. I just wanna point that out. I didn't realize they were all different, but how cute are these? Really, really sweet. So this one is the Malibu Sunset Duo, and it's kind of like this raspberry pink, I'd call it. Can you see there? That's the lip liner. It's just kind of raspberry pink. The packaging for these are really, really cute. It's not the lip liner that I was fussed about. Though again, this feels like really nice and heavy. It feels quality. But look at these lipsticks. I feel like Barbie would apply this. Like I feel like Barbie needs a mini one of these. These are so sweet. It comes in this like, little frosted tube. I actually really like Colourpop's um, formula, like their Luxe Lip Formula. I know not a lot of people do. So here it is. This is see-through packaging. I think it's really cool. It's got Barbie written there. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's just like this like raspberry raspberry pink I think the packaging's awesome this is golden beach so you get a lip liner that matches this lipstick I'm not gonna bother showing you the lip lines because you can see the shade of the lipstick instead so this is golden beach really nice nude shade this is probably gonna be my favorite because you know what I'm like I love a nude and then we've got the dream house duo which I'm not even gonna bother getting the lip liner out let's get the lipstick out this packaging is so cute I love the packaging. I say this is more of like a rose toned nude. Like if both of those had a baby, this would be it. Um, it's kind of like leaning into that Barbie pink, but I'd say it's more of a rose toned pink rather than like a fuchsia baby pink. I actually really, really like this. It's kind of similar. Actually, it's not nothing like what I've got on now. I lie, but I really like all three of these lipsticks. So yeah, so I was quite happy to purchase these. Didn't need them. But like the packaging was so cute that I had to have it, you know? And you just know that it was going to be out of stock later when I wanted it. So I thought, why not? When in Rome. When on Colourpop site. I ordered... Oh God, why did I order these? It's because they were cute. Damn it. What's wrong with me? So I ordered all four of these Hello Kitty quads. Like the Hello Kitty... I'm on a holiday collection. I don't know. There were like blushes to this and super shock shades and things like that. But I just wanted the four quads. I really think these are so sweet. I think these are so sweet. Can we just talk about, I've just realized I haven't actually played around with the Animal Crossing collection that I hauled in January. And it's now October. Okay, love that for me. I thought these were really cute. I'm just gonna open them up for you now. I was only gonna buy like one or two. And then I saw them on a bundle and it was on a bit of a deal. I was like, oh, sod it, I'll just get all of them. I was going to buy um, the five pan palettes. I actually, I've got one of them. Did I get one of them or two of them? I think I've got two of them, like the grandeur and things like that. But then I was like, actually, I think I prefer these because they don't have any glitters in. Um, this is really, really cute, actually, this palette. This is the Coco Cutie palette. 
it's got really nice blues in i don't wear a lot of blues if i'm honest i love blue on my eyes but i don't wear enough of it i don't know why i need to do like a whole blue edit i think i love blue on my eyes but i feel like these could be easily just popped into my makeup kit when i go and it's got a cute little mirror in as well i didn't even notice that but these are just really sweet i'm not a massive fan of hello kitty this one was cherry sweet by the way i didn't really show it to you did i i'm not like a massive massive fan of hello kitty but to be honest with you i think she's like i think she's cute i'm not offended by her i think again she's like getting treated like a little bit of a common a common hoe just like barbie like everyone's just collaborating with her left right and center and i'm like can we give hello kitty a break please um oh i love the embossing on this one this one is teeny keeny kind of cute look at that it's like a zesty orange vibe really like the depth of this one actually you could create like just one look with this palette really really like that very very nice this one is pineapple cake again a little bit similar to the orange one you could create an all yellow look i don't actually own a lot of yellows to be honest with you so i feel like i'm quite happy that this is in my collection because it's just something very small very compact like all four of these are so small you know they're just very compact very small and i could add so much color to like a traveling kit or if i was i don't know i don't know what i'd want but if like i was going around to do my makeup around a friend's house before we go out and i don't want to leave like loads of makeup i just want to take the smallest bag possible i could think of like a blue look or I could think of a pink look and just take a tiny little quarter with me so i don't know i think these are really convenient they're really really sweet the packaging is really cute got the hello kitties I've probably seen these before but she's like doing something different in every single one the packaging's nice you know like they're not taking up too much of my makeup collection i feel like they're adding quite a lot to it again because of the whole like i can pop them out as a palette like i can pop them out and put them in a magnetic palette i just think they add more value to my collection because i've got four lots of four single shadows in my personal opinion i got these two palettes from this collection you'll see what collection i mean it's what's this collection even called i don't even know but it's the high society and cashmere forever do you remember this collection like it had like this weird regal like aesthetic to it um i was gonna it's funny because this on my wish list i was gonna buy all five but then i purchased the hello kitty ones and because the hello kitty offered me the yellow the orange the pink and the blue and there was like pink and blue and orange ones of these i was kind of like well i'm not picking up both so decide megan decide and i preferred these tones more than the like regal ones but what there isn't in the hello kitty were purples and greens now the green one i'll be honest is the i'm the one that, like i'm most excited for this so this is the high society palette again it offers me five greens as single shades you know like i feel like now that i know i can pop this out and create my own palettes i feel so much more hyped about ColourPop. like i was on a bit of a hiatus all year and now i feel really like ooh, inspired by them again i don't know why i just i feel like i'm very happy to be playing around like look at all these shades these are so interesting there's a lot of texture here there's no pressed glitter it's just metallic and mattes and that's what i want there's depth there's different tones it's got like a citrusy vibe and then like a very sagey green almost kind of sagey green sagey minty green very weird green and then like a deep forest and then like a nice metallic i kind of want to swatch this one what does this one look like Ooh. let's swatch it oh Oh, that's pretty. That's like really reflective. You could actually pop that on an inner corner and have like a green in the corner. That'd be so cool. It's like quite electric, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I picked up the High Society. I also picked up Cashmere Forever. This is the purple one. Again, I don't think there's any pressed glitters in here. No, it's just metallics and mattes, which is, to be honest with you, what I prefer. This is more like plum and lavender, but I think I'm into that. I think I'm into kind of the range of colours here like you've got this really cool like magenta -y sort of purple and then going into the plummier tones and then like these lavender tones up here i think i'm into that i think i like it i think i really like it i feel like these are the only two colours that weren't really represented in the hello kitty collection but the hello kitty collection was represented in these and i'm just like well i don't need five pounds of everything but i'm just gonna i'm gonna do a bit of a hybrid approach you know kind of get them both but also not all of them sort of thing i feel like i need a counter for how many uh how many eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes i bought today it's it's basically all eyeshadow <laughs> love it love it oh i bought this so i saw aniela canique vis talk about this and she was like it's the best bronzer for the face and i was like well then i've got to have it i got mine in the shade light um this is the face and body bronzing balm by soul body which is colourpop sister brands like you order off the same website it's it's essentially Colourpop, but just like 
a subsidiary you know it's more face rather than makeup so this is kind of like a dupe for chanel solde solde chanel no i don't know what it's called um and it's a bronzing balm i think i've chosen the right color it looks very warm but i'm hoping do i have a clean finger this is clean clean enough oh interesting it's like very emollient do i need to oh my god it smells so that smells like the bourgeois <gasps> it smells like the bourgeois bronzer that's discontinued yes okay so this is like very buildable uh, i'm just watching it here like you can see it's very sheer but very buildable this is not what i was expecting actually i'll be honest i was expecting something a bit more pigmented but actually maybe that's a nice thing because you can just build it up gently i think the color's all right from back here it looks all right and up close it looks right like it looks like an all right tone to be fair um you can see it's about very emollient can you see that yeah i really like it i like the packaging as well like, i like this frosted bottom you get like a nice little hard plastic lid just to keep it from going drying out and like the lid's quite nice like the whole thing like the whole packaging is actually really nice so what did i get mine light i got mine in by the way i think the one down from this was fair and that was just a little bit too cool toned and a bit too light for me so i feel like i've got a decent enough shade um and it'll flex to when i'm tan if i build up so really like the packaging of this angie said it was good so i'm just gonna trust her and i think i think it'll be good too it'll be good it'll be good fun oh i bought this random super shock shadow because i saw it and i was like oh, it was green let me get it uh this is in fruit punch um oh no super shock shadow ultra glitter oh damn it has it got glitter in oh it better not i don't think it has i'm a bit confused so this is what fruit punch looks like it's like practically like acid green oh my god that's so soft <laughs> it's so nice um i'm running out of room can I do it like here maybe next to this bronzer? Kind of on the bronzer. Ooh, it's kind of chartreuse actually. Can you see that there? It's kind of chartreuse. Like when you compare it to those greens, it's like chartreuse-y. Ooh, I kind of like that. So that's called Fruit Punch. I got this collection. I was actually really excited about this. It's the like Life's a Glitch or like Y2K collection. Um, I got all of like the eye products, I think, because I wasn't too fussed about the lip colours, I'll be honest, the lip colours were like nice, but they weren't, I mean, they were just nice. That's all I have to say about them. I got two Super Shocks. The one I wanted, which is so typical, but the one I actually wanted was out of stock. Clearly I wanted it and everyone else wanted it at the same time because it was in stock. I went to go check out and they were like, sorry, we've run out and I was not best pleased. But I got the other two. So I've got Low Rise and in the saddle so this is in the saddle it's like a really really nice pearly pink um let's swatch this one i love how i'm like i'm not gonna swatch everything but now i'm like swatching everything um oh hello yes this is such a, the camera is literally not picking up how pretty this is i wish i was more tan to like really show you the contrast can you see how amazing that is all over the lid it's just like something dusted through the crease this is gonna look sensational that is such a pretty shade okay hashtag no regrets i love the packaging of these as well let me just show you up close so this is uh low rise but look at the packaging both of them are the same it's like a really cute lavender kind of mottled purple kind of look with this cute little butterfly on it and the writing around the edge very y2k so this is low rise um there yep Ooh, okay i feel like my swatch is the messiest swatch i've ever done in my life but i quite like that it's like a topper shade oh yeah i quite like that i feel like that just like scattered over the lid with some purple through the crease because it's got quite like can you see that base to it like it shines but then when you turn it's got quite a deep base to it so i think you would need like a purple through the crease like this is a purple eyeshadow topper for purple eyes like this one you could probably pop anything through the crease because it's so light and shimmery whereas this one's got quite a deep base this um low rise color i really wanted the other one but it was out of stock so oh look at this isn't that pretty i then got the three y2k collection five pan eyeshadow palettes this is the new millennium palette so this is probably the least exciting in my eyes it's just like pinks purple it's kind of cute kind of like a bit boring but uh, i just got it in a bundle because it was just basically it was just it was better value for money to buy it as a bundle because i'd got this for like literally two dollars which is not even two quid here um if i bought it in a bundle and i was gonna get these two anyway so i was kind of like just 
I'll have it, you know. If I don't use it, I can pass it on to someone. I'm not gonna swatch this one just because I feel like it's the one I'm least interested in. Therefore, I might not even touch this and therefore it could probably be passed to someone else. So I'm not gonna swatch this one, um, but I'm gonna swatch the other two because the other two I really did want. This one was just like a brutey little bonus. So I thought, yeah, I might as well just pick it up because I'm like that. This one is just a glitch. And I think this is the one I was most excited about. Yeah, like look at this. This is just a glitch. Look at this like frosty, minty kind of, oh, like spearmint kind of shades. I think these are cool. Look at that one, for example. This looks nice. This is Take a Bite. Ooh, I'm going the other way now for swatches. Why not? Ooh, it's like a top shade. That's really interesting. Let's do Chat Room. This one right here, it's like another metallic. I'm kind of obsessed with swatching metallics, have you guessed? Ooh, yeah. They're actually like quite frosty. I actually quite like how frosty they are. I think that's like quite different actually. It's almost like pastel, but not quite pastel. And it's not like completely molten lava, like ooh, juicy metallics. They're kind of like just frosty shimmers. And there's a time and a place for everything. And I just really liked this. I think it's kind of cute. Again, I don't think I'd create like one single look out of this palette. I just can't see myself only reaching in for this palette. Um, and then there was the Digital Playground, which I think actually this one was like the most the second most excited about this one was the one i wanted the most like the one that caught my eye every single time without failure if i can even open the palette yeah look at this one this one's cool oh my god the packaging of them is cool as well this one's the coolest this one's the coolest. So this one's the Digital Playground, and you might be thinking, Megan, that's just another pink palette, but this is like so, like, I'm just trying to like really show you how cool this one is. Also, can we talk about the packaging on the back? Like, it's just like this really cool, swirly plastic vibes. I don't know, I really like that. Oh, look, see? Ooh, it's cool. I like it, man. I want to swatch this shade right here. It's called 99. We'll go into Love and Warhol. So that's 99. Ooh, again, it's like that frosty kind of duo chrome. Oh yeah, I like that, I like that. And then Love and Warhol. Ooh, ooh, she vibrant, girl, she vibrant. Oh, I'm very excited. I was born in the late 90s, so I feel like most of my childhood, you know, like the childhood, I, f I feel like your childhood, right, is like ages five plus because before five years old, is it really your childhood? Like, do you really remember that much before you were five years old? Like, I'm sure you remember things, but like, is it really your childhood, you know? So I feel like most of my childhood, if not all of my childhood was in the early 2000s, you know, like 2000, between 2000 and 2010 was like when I was a child. So I feel like this is just really speaking to me. This was just like so reminiscent and I really wanted it. I just. I really liked it, I like the aesthetic. I didn't realise the 2000s were making such a big comeback, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Okay, are we nearly there yet? Oh, I got these hair clips, I didn't even notice. I didn't order these, I must have got these free in the bundle. I got some hair clips, let's put some in. Let's do it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh no, my ears can be poking out, I'm gonna look weird. I mean, I'm gonna look weird. She says, po putting clips in her hair like this. I feel like if I did it properly, it would look kind of cute. I kind of just look like a crazy person, but like, yeah, bonafide clips. So I obviously got these free with like the bundle of eyeshadows or something. I really like like the opalescent kind of shifty shades to them. I think they're kind of cool. Um, do you know what? I will probably, oh, I'll probably actually wear the, I'll probably actually wear these. That's good English. I'll probably wear these. I quite like them. I think styled right. I need to ask Lily how to style these. She just knows how to, like even my mum, says she's like lily just knows how to accessorize and i'm like doesn't she i know whereas i'm over here on the struggle bus to be honest with you lily come help me style my life please i own lovely things i don't know how to wear them i see a vision i look like a potato right now i look like i'm about to go to primary school I look like I've told my mum, mum, I want to do my hair today. And she's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I look beautiful. And when really, I look a mess. But we're gonna keep moving for the rest of the video, why not? Oh my God, it's the last thing. Ow, okay, that was smooth. I got the It's A Mood palette. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I saw this and I was like, that's going straight in my basket. I actually own, I think nearly all of the 30 pan eyeshadow palettes from Colourpop, apart from the golden, hour golden 
golden hour, golden vibe, golden, golden, it's golden, I feel golden, something that golden, I don't know, but I didn't buy that palette because I was kind of like, yeah, I don't need it, yeah, I'm alright, like, I don't need it, um, and I don't need everything, like, just because I have all of them doesn't mean that I need to keep buying everything just because I have it all. Can, before I open this, can I just talk about the texture of this packaging? I'm really hoping the camera picks it up. Can you, like, see that? It looks like material. If I, like, oh, there you go. I'm angling it right. Look at that. It, like, looks a bit weird, and I kind of like the feeling of it. It's really quite nice. Really love the shade as well. It's kind of the shade of my, the shade of my walls. I love a good terracotta shade i just really liked this palette i thought everything about it was like a little bit of me i really want to do a video comparing this to the kathleen lights so jaded palette because the so jaded palette is one of my favorite palettes for just like these sorts of tones like sultry um kind of like muted but like rich at the same time like muted colors but rich in tone if that makes sense i think that makes sense but these are really really cute i think there's quite a few pressed glitters in here not gonna lie not my favorite thing in the world there's three pressed glitters in here ColourPop, we're gonna have a fight okay we're gonna have a fight i don't mind when there's two pressed glitters in these big palettes um i think like it's all proportional so you know like for every 10 shades there's a glitter now if it was for every 15 shades there was a glitter i'd be less i'd be like fine but like did we really need this as a glitter i would have quite liked this as a metallic this is a glitter i actually i kind of vibe with it's kind of cool i quite like that this is a glitter i quite like it i vibe with it but like this this could have been like a really juicy metallic and it would have gone well with this glitter and it gone well with this so i don't know i just feel like we didn't have to have three glitters in this palette I know it's like, you know, some people really love press glitters and I'm just not one of them. I like them, I like to have them, but I don't like them to like dominate my makeup, you know. I prefer to just have a metallic. I'm going to use a metallic more than I'm going to use a glitter. I like Colourpop's press glitter formula. I, I think in comparison to other brands, it's actually quite nice. But like, I don't need a lot of it. But this colour story just absolutely, it just rings true in my ears to me. Like, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I love it. And again, it's this thing of like viewing my collection of ColourPop as singles now as well. And like, isn't this the most gorgeous bank of colours? Should we count how many eyeshadow palettes I bought? I don't know if I want to do that. Let's do it. So we have one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Whoopsie daisy. Fourteen. Whoa. 14 palettes and four super shocks. I feel sick. <laughs> uh, so there we go. That was it. That was my, like, I just did a bad thing haul from Colourpop. Um, do I hate myself? Yes. Do I like myself? Yes. It's, I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm very happy that I own all these items. I'm going to be playing around with them. I'm going to be enjoying them. I'm going to be like, bah, 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 bah. Equally, I feel like a sore loser slash a clown for purchasing it. So, swings and roundabouts, really. Swings and roundabouts. Like, I feel like I should probably stop complaining that I buy it and then could carry on and buy it because, like, that doesn't make sense let me know down below what you're loving from Colourpop at the moment um is there something that i've missed is there something that's like a hidden gem are you excited about anything do you own anything i hauled today let me know down in the comments because i love talking to you guys about what you guys own what you guys recommend what you're excited about um and of course if you want like videos on any of this if you want to see a full face of Colourpop, not necessarily first impressions but just like a chitty chatty get ready with me with some full face of color pop then we can definitely do that other than that i think i'm just gonna enjoy my life um the best i can <laughs> thank you guys for watching a thumbs this video up if you have enjoyed talking down below it's my favorite part about making videos is talking to you guys so make sure you talk them down in the comments because i love reading it and i love responding to you it's my favorite part you are my friends we're gonna have a conversation about makeup what's better I don't know. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on more content from me. No, you would not. No, you would not. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.